Would you make that distinction for us between what Noah said, goods and services, mm -hmm. which seem to be a compelling mm -hmm. space for impact investing, mm -hmm. and, and, and other spaces like social justice? I would actually not necessarily agree with ah. Noah. I think that there is space for traditional grant-based philanthropy, but the focus should be more on catalytic philanthropy, on accountability and reaching, you know, really creating of change rather than, you know, spending, you know, writing checks. For example, you know, if you want to um, support children who are orphans, you know, y very difficult to create a business enterprise, so charitable dollars will go to reach this goal. An important dimension of charitable dollars is also at the start of impact investing with, when a catalytic new model is being tested. It may not provide the returns. So there is a time in the development of a social enterprise where they can only survive on charitable mm -hmm. dollars. Uh, an example would be um, Barefoot Power, which uh, provides um, solar kits for the remote villages in Africa they sell them um, at $12, which represents three um, months of uh, you know, kerosene sales, and they last five uh, years. So after three months, the household starts to save money. They have tw 12 times the luminosity. They can start micro-telephone charging businesses. Huge financial, um, uh, huge uh, social benefits. But they had to start with philanthropy because at the beginning they didn't have the distribution systems, their product was too expensive, it wasn't commercially viable. Now they entered the space where they can scale and attract semi-commercial capital, mm. and then hopefully they will go further by continuing research and development, uh, expanding, creating economies mm. of scale, and they can attract purely commercial. Mm. So I think there, there's still you know, a, 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 uh, you know, a space and, and place for philanthropy. So